In tonight with the WECT News investigation, the area's real estate market is still hot and homes are still in short supply. But tonight we're learning if you're looking for a new home, you need to look at something other than the price. WECT investigative reporter Michael Pratt is looking into real estate scams and how you can protect yourself. Michael, there are several types of real estate scams, but you're told that fake listings are on the rise and scammers could make off with thousands of dollars. Yeah, Fran, and because it is such a competitive housing market, I'm told some buyers are putting in offers sight unseen on properties, and that could lead to some serious issues. With the housing market exploding over the last few years, it's quickly become a seller's market and a scammer's market, too. If you look at what has happened, the fraud, the person committing fraud will advertise the property if they're on the selling side at a great price, at, you know, below market, and it look, really look, appears to be a great deal. And it's the old adage, if it appears to be a, a too good to be true, it probably is. It's particularly an issue with for sale by owner. It's not through a broker, but it's for sale by owner, and they will um, advertise it either on, on newspaper or something like that. The other, the other area that's easy is vacant uh, land. In December of last year, the North Carolina Real Estate Commission posted a notice warning realtors of fake seller scams. Steve Mitchell, president of Cape Fear Realtors, says any property can become a target, but vacant land is often used by scammers. They can put a sign on the property, advertise it for sale, try to get it under contract, and uh, there's varying degrees of things that they're trying to do as far as either due diligence fee, earnest money, or just or the proceeds in general. Meaning a small down payment or a full purchase could be gone in the blink of an eye to scammers that operate online. While there are plenty of legitimate for sale by owner listings, Mitchell says a certified realtor can help take the guesswork out of the sale. When you hire a realtor who is trained and educated to know um, how to ferret out the, rigid, the actual buyer and property owners, uh, you are, you're doing things to minimize that risk. Because navigating the housing market can be a nightmare as it is without having to worry about someone scamming you out of your dream home. And Mitchell said he's received warnings from the New Hanover County Sheriff's Office about the rise of these scams here in our area and says one of the biggest things to look out for again is if a deal sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Michael Pratt's WECT News.